Lucky knew they would play that, so they played Rogue Mage, which you would... I feel like the Rogue Mage is favored in this matchup against the Windwalker Mage, so compositionally, I would say Never Lucky have the advantage, but in terms of experience, uh, Mentis Orange, I guess Sidu is on an alt, Zack is kind of on an alt, but I think Sidu has been playing it a lot longer. Zack is one of those players that's kind of a newcomer. He's the youngest, one of the youngest for sure, and he's been multi-classing healers and damage dealers, so if he can perform here in the Rogue Mage Druid setup, that would be quite a statement for Never Lucky's power levels overall. Well, Trell going to be going after Mageden, it looks like, in this matchup, but really good control from Never Lucky. This is a great opener, but Sam I am manages to avoid the opening damage. Deflected just a little bit. Finally, a full kidney shot lands. Sidu into a polymorph. Trill looking to deny Major in just a little bit with the paralysis. Does look like Sam I am will be able to hold on. Good start here for Never Lucky, but Method Orange, although not the best opener, hasn't had to commit too much. Yeah, no iron park, no ice blocks, and those are major objective points that Never Lucky didn't hit. Now Major in on the back foot as Trill leads the charge. Colo gets caught in a polymorph. It could be an ice block through the iron bark if they can stay on target. Comet Storm coming in from Sam. I am Zach the Flex, but it's not going to be enough. First ice block in favor of Method Orange. Colo is still crowd controlled. If Sidu keeps his clone chain going, he gets a second. Not really worth the value of the mana to go for the third, so they're going to drop the chain. But they're still keeping their pressure. There's a surprising amount of damage output right now in Majidin. Colo Cyclones Trill. Sidu gets caught in a polymorph. Mistakes on both sides for the opposing druids. But Sam I am able to avoid the connect. And despite Sidu being crowd controlled, not too much damage. Finally connecting. Full ray of frost. Big damage. Good follow up from Colo. That nets an ice block for Never Lucky, and they stay in the fight. That was really nicely done. They were able to shut down Majidin on the re polymorph onto Sidu. Zach saw that, uses his vanish, gets the sap into a cyclone. Beautiful clean setup to get that first ice block from Sam I am. But still, Never Lucky a little bit behind. It's go time for Method Orange. Here's the touch of death. What is Majidin going to do? Caught into the full leg sweep. There's really not too much he can do. Big burst damage available. That's going to be the second ice block. That was a really clean setup there by Trill, basically single-handedly forcing that ice block. All right, ice blocks are the major objectives. The mages have two of them usually in a game this quick, so Majidin is now out of ice blocks. Sam I am still has one. Never lucky need to work quick to tie up the ice blocks. They've got Sidu locked down in a stun. They need further crowd control. Where are the polymers? Where are the cyclones? Well, they're nowhere to be found, and Iron Bark is going to stabilize Sam I am. So now Majidin on the back foot. Colo is struggling to recover. Gets caught on a heel by Sam. I am perfect polymorph timing. Majidin could easily fall here. Trill connects. Majidin's got almost nothing left. If they get any crowd control on Colo, it's game over, but they stop it. Beautiful counter spell. Now Sidu uh -oh. gets interrupted or gets caught, and Sam I am has to ice block. Good turnaround from Never Lucky. We've evened up the ice block ball game, and it's anyone's match. Yeah, Majidin's been holding on to his icy veins the entire game. When is he going to use it? Sidu now in a cyclone. Icy veins gets used. Majidin gets interrupted. Colo now into a bash. Ring of Frost gets cast out uh -oh. by Sam I am. They do find it. Both druids in crowd control. Sam I am just a little bit behind right now. Trill trying to force some pressure. Gets the leg sweep. Unfortunately misses the double onto Colo. But Majidin still just taking so much damage. I don't know if he can survive right now. Sam I am looking for an Ebon Bolt. Is Majidin going to fall? It looks like both of these mages will survive for now. Sidu still in a cyclone. Can he get the follow up onto Colo? Does manage to find it. Iron Bark's already been used by Colo. Once that fades, Majidin is going to be really vulnerable in this matchup. Look at it. Touch of death in 24 seconds. If Trill gets to that touch of death, there's absolutely no way Majidin survives it. So even if just Sam I am waits, it's getting better and better for Method Orange to take game number one. And with when the teams have so much composition diversity, you have to win the blind pick so you can have the swing match advantage for the rest of the series should this go all the way to a game five. Five seconds away now for Trill. Four, three, two, one. Next leg sweep. There's absolutely no way Majidin survives. If it's available right now, I'm very surprised to not just see them go for it. I guess they're on the back foot. They break up the crowd control a little bit. Sidu gets interrupted. Sam I am's in trouble. Trill tries to go for the kill at the same time. Both mages in equal trouble at this point in time, but it's looking like Majidin's going to fall here. Big damage. Touch of death explodes. Colo's in a cyclone, and Majidin is likely to fall. He's barely staying alive. Frost Nova wow. on the images holding out for now. Colo cyclones the monk. Sam I am gets stunned. Never lucky survive what should have been the end of the game and giving themselves an opportunity to now kill Sam I am 15 seconds away from Sidu's defense. Yep, Sam I am does find the shadow meld. 
on that Gladiator's Maledict. One of the things keeping him alive. There is a Polymorph on the CD right now. Sam, I am still in a little bit of trouble. Finally, CD gets the restealth out of the Polymorph. Looking for some heals. Iron Bark going to be available for both Druids very shortly. Sam, I am into a kidney shot. What is CD going to do? An immediate Iron Bark to deny some of that damage. Paralysis on Colo into a bash. Made it in, left in a situation where he's all by himself, but it's Sam, I am who's on the back foot. Zach forced to use his blind defensive onto Trill as he realized Majin is just oh. in so much trouble. Colo still in a cyclone. Majin getting low. Ray of Frost coming in from Sam I am. Majin blinks through. Sam I am avoiding a little bit of damage. Does get some big heals from Colo and manages to stay alive. I don't know if Packrats would have stayed alive this long on Mage. Majin is having a great showing here in game number one for Never Lucky and potentially his survival tactics could be enough to pull off a victory. 38 seconds to his ice block. Still a minute, over a minute away from Sam I am. Sidu gets interrupted. A big opportunity for Zach and Majidin to get a kill. They get the follow up, but Sam I am equally kiting as effectively as Majidin avoids all of the damage and stays totally Ooh, fine. Nice but they leg stack sweep. up. Beautiful ring of peace, stacking them up for a triple leg sweep by Trill. They get the follow up Cyclone. Majidin once again on the run, but he's not escaping Trill. Trill on target, doing a lot of damage along with Sam I am and Majidin likely to fall. How many lives does Majidin actually have? Colo connects Iron Bark six seconds away from his ice block he actually might hold out to the ice block and then he can turn this around and kill sam i am cdu activates iron bark both druids are actually almost completely out of mana cdu gets caught in a polymorph bit of an error here but maybe his iron bark will be enough to tide the crowd control chain should they be able to break it up they get the next polymorph they're not breaking up the crowd control if colo gets the clone this game ends and never lucky take it colo doesn't get the clone goes for the bash now cdu can shrink it but trill's trying to stall it out with paralysis both druids is in trouble but major din has ice block he ice blocks the touch of death immediately cancels the ice block to go for the kill stops sam i am on the polymorph then looking for some polymorphs in the fist of fury instantly big whirling dragon punch major Din still low on health blizzard to get colo out of stealth they've got him totally tapped Agent and holds out, but now Sam I am has his ice block and Method Orange have the advantage. Yeah, Method Orange, they have the mana advantage. They have the ice block advantage. Sam I am has to get forced into this ice block right here, right now, but it's looking like Majidin will be the one to fall. Colo into a polymorph, leg sweep onto Majidin. Cyclone coming in from Sidu. Majidin, is he going to be able to survive again? Now Trill finally all over him. Colo does find some healing. A Cyclone coming He's in got from Sidu. Might have been a mistake. Now Majidin has the Cold Snap available. He gets that Cold Snap off with the Ice Barrier. He might be able to survive. That was an unfortunate Cyclone coming in from Sidu. A little bit missed time. Majidin will survive because of it. Sam I am with the Icy Veins trying to continue the pressure. Trail into a bash. Good control from both teams. 15% dampening. Majidin doesn't get topped off. And unfortunately, Ice Block overlapped with the Iron Bark once again coming in from Never Lucky. There's no mana. There's no Ice Block. Sam I am has two. Method Orange should take this. Barring a massive mistake, they should easily take this. Colo's crowd controlled by Sidu. Majin holds on once again by the skin of his teeth, but ultimately cannot avoid this situation. It is finally checkmate. Constant back and forth game number one, but Method Orange take it. Big burst windows and opportunities forcing out ice blocks in that game. We'll have to see if he can get it done in game number two as well. What is the opener going to be like? Although Never Lucky did get great crowd control in the last game, Sam I am had really good positioning. He was able to avoid damage and basically completely shut down that beautiful opener of Never Lucky, not really giving them any sort of ice block or ground whatsoever. Big hit on the Sam I am early on here by Never Lucky, but Colo is in a cyclone, so they're striking back. Majidin just ice blocking, respecting the burst, but it wasn't touch of death. There's a big opening for Trill now, so maybe a, a bad call on the ice block that early. Sidu's actually sitting through a blind. You do not want to have the Druid comfortably sit through a blind. They go for Ring of Frost, they stun Trill, and they gun down for Sam I am. If they don't get an ice block with this and Sidu sits through the crowd control, that could be devastating. I don't think he's going to get away with not trading an ice block. Maybe holding out on 10%. Iron Bark. This would be a huge lead for Method Orange if they can hold out without ice blocking. Still struggling to heal through the pressure with Vendetta rolling from Zack. Ironbark's defense is about to fade. They drop Smoke Bomb, line of sighting Sidu from healing his mage. Sam I am. Sidu runs into oh! it. Not enough. Ice block forced. Both mages now down an ice block in an even ball game. Yeah, definitely an even ball game right now. What are they going to be able to get done? Sam I am finally gets topped off. What a close call. That Maledict incoming, denying some of that healing from Sidu. Sam I am almost falls without getting that ice block off. If we look at mana, Sidu just a little bit behind at this point in the game. Sam I am blinks in with the Icy Veins looking to get aggressive. Now into a full kidney shot. He's got no trinket. He used it in the first one of the game. There's a light sweep on Majin. Bash on Colo. Keep in mind, Colo is playing relentless, so all of these crowd control chains are full. Bash into DR Polymorph. Majin taking some big bursts from 
from the Comet Storm. And that is going to be the second Ice Block forced out. Are they going to be able to mirror with Sam I Am? Can they get that Cold Snap forced out of him? He still hasn't used it, so he's going to have an opportunity to use two Ice Bearers to deny that second Ice Block. Method Orange take the lead, and now with Touch of Death available, Trill should trounce Majidin very shortly if he can stay on target. Never lucky strike back. Prior with good crowd control so far on Sidu, but they drop the chain. Sidu ducks for cover and stealth to avoid any further crowd control. And now that he's gotten out of that crowd control chain, it's go time. Trill is on Polymorph DR. This is perfect for him. He's on Cyclone Diminish Return. There's no way to crowd control Trill now on his touch of death. He's going to get 100% uptime. Maybe he wants to wait for to combo it together, but I feel like he should just go now. There's the touch of death. There's the leg sweep. Ursula's Vortex. Majidin waits for it, then blinks away, but Fist of Fury are flying. Zack instantly cheap shots it. That was the only crowd control they could have stopped Trill, but he's still able to connect a bit of damage. Touch of Death explodes. Agent in some house holds out. That was definitely a clutch cheap shot from Zack, disrupting Trill's kill attempt here. But Mage didn't get cycloned at low health by Sidu. Semi, although getting pressured by Zack. Majidin could be in trouble out, out of these Cyclones. No Iron Bark for three seconds if Trill can get up some big damage. He's polymorphed, dispelled instantly by Sidu. Cone of Cold snared by Majidin. Trying to avoid Trill at all, co all costs as he has no ice blocks. What's the mana situation right now? Sidu is pretty low, but I'm wondering where Kolos is. Good double stun from Never Lucky. Majidin staying alive means they have an opportunity to get an ice block here and now. Sam I am though. Shadow melds the Gladiator's Maledict. A second one incoming. Still under pressure. Dispelled instantly now by Sidu. Can he heal through the damage? Zack has been getting a lot of uptime. Innervate activated. Sidu powering out some Cyclones for free. But Sam I am is still on the back foot. Likely Majidin going down though at the same time. He just gets crushed by Trill. Trill with the hard carries on that Windwalker Monk, really taking it to Majidin in game number two. Yeah, Method Orange looking better and better his opportunities. Of course, they're gonna have Valido with the Purge. The Elemental Shaman Purge is quite strong. He'll be able to strip off the Ice Barrier from Sam I Am, as well as some of Sidu's heal over time effects. Uh, we've kind of talked about how powerful Lightning Lasso is, especially when you follow up a stun. So if Kolo can move in, he can get the Bash, and they can follow, follow that up with the Lightning Lasso with a uh, Frozen Orb and Comet Storm. Majidin really has available. That's a big opportunity for them. They might be able to take down Sidu, but I think for the most part, Never Lucky, they're going to focus on heavy disruption on Sam I Am and try to get an advantage that way. Trill getting on target. Majin looking for another polymorph interrupted. Sam I am though in a bit of trouble. Valido tossing out tons of damage. Sidu denies the kill with Iron Bark and begins to stabilize. Trill now trying to get back onto Majin as soon as possible. Dispelled instantly by Sidu. Sidu doing a good job to keep Trill's uptime maximized. Trill engaging crowd control and looking for an ice block push. Maybe going to find it through Iron Bark. Doesn't look like it. Ice Barrier from Majidin absorbing some hits. Now looking to counterattack as soon as possible. Valido has been left open this entire time. Really ripping into Sam I Am, but no major cooldowns for us just yet. Now switching actually to Trill. So maybe they jump off the side and kite around the outskirts trying to kill Trill. Trill's not going to fall for that trap. He is not going to jump into three enemy players. He's just going to pull back, retreat away, look for a reset and a drink. Felito sees Sidu going for a drink, moves forward, drops a totem on him, and I do believe kept him in combat. We'll have to see what the mana is at the end of this. Kolo is most certainly at full, but Sidu, on the other hand, not entirely sure. When he comes out of bear form, we will be able to find out. It's it's still close enough that it wasn't of much significance, but of course, later in the game, it could be. Yeah, I mean, definitely. There's a lightning lasso over on the Sam I Am. Sidu actually getting interrupted there, but he had the iron bark preemptively used. And neither of these druids has really been getting too aggressive in this game with the feral affinity we normally see from restoration druids. Both Kolo and Sidu haven't been opting to use it that often. Sidu now moving in, trying to get some crowd control out. Kolo with the counter bash, looking for a cyclone. Does is does manage to find it. Now Majidin could be in a little bit of trouble. Kolo trying to heal him up, but nice ring of peace denies the cyclone. Trill in hot pursuit, but I just don't think they have the damage just yet to take down Majidin. Sam I Am throws in a kleptomania spell seal to remove some of those heal over time effects, but it looks like Kolo will easily be able to respond with that iron bar. No ice blocks on either side at this point, and mana is even but never lucky are on match point. So the pressure is in favor of Method Orange. They have to win three games in a row against the reigning BlizzCon champions. Can they pull it off with this mage, elemental shaman, restoration druid? Sam I am getting gladiators maledict activated on him, but no follow up afterwards. So maybe a bit of an uncoordinated assault. Trill looks like he's under control right now from Majidin, really focusing on polymorphs. 
Luckily, to save the last diminishing return to interrupt Fists of Fury, as that is the most powerful ability the Windwalker Monk has. You can interrupt it with crowd control. Polymorph being a very good and efficient usage of it. Both druids actually sitting down for a drink again. Colo gets back to full mana. Sidu doesn't, so a further lead for Colo in that regard. But I would say, momentum-wise, that Method Orange are dealing a lot more damage. Mage it in very low on health. Colo bashed out of Cyclone. Perfect timing. Crowd control from Sidu gets Method Orange the first ice block. Yep, and it looks like Majidin will be a little bit behind on that ice block race once again. Keep in mind, Method Orange is up 2-0 to zero in the series. If Neverlucky want to stay alive in the upper bracket, they have to win this game. But Method Orange has been really dominating so far, really dominant so far. And they're ahead in game number three as well. Neverlucky has some catch-up to do. Touch of Death gets committed by Trill, but a nice frost of a from Majidin will deny. A ring of Peace knocks him back into the images. Majidin might just fall. Nice burst damage. Beautiful setup by Trill once again. Majidin tried to escape. He got a nice Frost Nova I called out, and then Trill just bopped him back with that Ring of Peace. Got the Fist of Fury, Whirling Dragon Punch with the Touch of Death, and scored that second Ice Block. And now Majidin and Never Lucky, they are way behind. Yeah, they are, and it's match point. So the pressure is on. You've got no Ice Blocks. I mean, it should be KO. The map makes absolutely no sense. I think going for a more open field map and maybe trying to kill Trill could have been a strategy, but on Dalaran sewers, it's just so close quarters. The Windwalker Monk is able to stay on target far too much. Credit where credit is due. CD is doing a good job dispelling Trill. Trill is able to stay on target with good efficiency of that Tiger's Lust as well. Finally, some counter pressure on the Sam I am with that Ray of Frost Lightning Lasso combined together. CD struggling to heal through the burst of it. Potentially an ice block. Nope. Sam I am Shadow Melts the Glider's Maledict. They go for the second and the third, though, instantaneously afterwards. CD denies the kill with Iron Bark. is moving in. He wants to close this game out, but he gets bashed first by Colo, and Colo looks to reverse crowd control in his favor. Trill denies it. CD is now in position to get a clone, gets the bash. Needs to get the clone, not even going for it. Poly and Cyclone at the same time, but Colo could line aside of it, line aside it. A bit of a blunder on crowd control there. That could have been the end of the game potentially to kill Majidin if they had been able to land one or the other, but they waited a couple seconds and Colo was able to slip away with that opportunity. Yeah, nicely done by Colo, taking advantage of the opportunity to be slippery and get away, and that will allow Majidin to survive a little bit longer. Keep in mind, he's got three minutes left on that ice block. Sam I am. He's got the icy veins. Trill, touch of death in 13 seconds. Scary moment here for Never Lucky. Colo has to do a really good job managing this iron bark if they want to survive this next assault. Alito needs to start getting some damage rolling as well. I mean, Sam I has been taking a little bit of pressure, but they haven't managed to get one ice block in this game. If we look at mana, Colo at around 85% right now, Sidu at 100%. So basically, in all regards, Method Orange is just way ahead. Yeah, touch of death available. Trills on Polymorph DR if he connects. Sam I am under some pressure. I mean, he could go down without ice blocking. That is definitely a circumstance that could occur, and basically the only circumstance where Never Lucky win at this point in the game. Good double cap totem by Valido. Clean setup. Iron Bark available for Sidu. Surprising to not see him activated at this point, but I mean, there's not really any cooldowns. Sam I am survives. Trills now on Polymorph DR once again. Moving towards trying to get a kill on Majidin. Now on Cyclone Diminishing Return. I would love to just see Method Orange push forward, collide on Colo and Majidin simultaneously and get the kill with Touch of Death. They have all the tools available right now. Exchange some defensives to be aggressive in this position and just end the game because by all means they've got it in the bag if they just make one clean push. And even if they get stopped by some miracle opportunity, they just have a nice block to live later to try again. Colo is crowd controlled. This is the moment that they're looking for to close it out. 3-0, but they do get the oh, across. No. A touch of death explodes. Big hit by Method Orange. Clean sweep against the roster swap. Majid in 3-0, advancing to face against Mew Mew Kitty Cats on Sunday. Yeah, that's going to be a great series as well. Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.